the news had morphed from frantic pronouncements to a solemn death knell. A rogue black hole, a cosmic bogeyman, was hurtling towards Earth. At first, there was denial, a frantic scramble for solutions that dissolved into a numb acceptance. In Stockton, California, the air hung heavy with the scent of barbecue and despair. Maya, perched on her rooftop, watched the sky. Once a vibrant blue canvas, it was now bruised purple, the approaching leviathan leeching the light. The distant rumble that had been a constant hum for the past week had intensified, a low, mournful groan that vibrated in her bones. Below, her neighbors, strangers turned family in the face of oblivion, were gathered around flickering bonfires, the scent of grilled meat mingling with the acrid tang of fear. Across the street, Mr. Ramirez, the gruff old man who never smiled, was holding a chipped teacup, his weathered face creased with unshed tears. He looked up at Maya, a silent plea in his eyes. With a sad smile, Maya climbed down and joined him. They sat by the fire, two souls seeking solace in shared silence. As the night deepened, the sky contorted further. The once familiar constellations were warped, stretched into grotesque parodies. The groan became a scream, a cosmic howl that seemed to tear at the very fabric of reality. The air grew thick, a pressure building in their chests. Suddenly, a young girl, Lily, Mr. Ramirez's granddaughter, shrieked. Pointing a trembling finger, she cried, Look! A single, inky black tear had begun to spread across the bruised canvas of the sky, growing larger by the second. It was the maw of the beast, the point of no return. A wave of melancholic acceptance washed over Maya. They weren't going to escape. This was it. She looked at Mr. Ramirez, his eyes filled not with fear, but with a quiet dignity. He squeezed her hand, a wordless thank you for the shared solace. Together, they watched as the tear in the sky grew, the scream crescendoing into a deafening roar. The firelight flickered, then died. The air crackled with raw energy. A final, blinding flash, and then, silence. Not a peaceful quiet, but a heavy, all-encompassing silence that spoke of oblivion. In that final, silent moment, Maya felt a strange sense of calm. The terror, the despair, all melted away, replaced by a quiet acceptance. They had lived, they had loved, and now, they would cease to be. As the darkness consumed everything, Maya closed her eyes, a single tear tracing a path down her cheek. It wasn't a tear of fear, but a tear for the beauty, the wonder, and the fleeting impermanence of it all.